You know what it is, people? Get in. Yeah, I'm back in the booth. That's right. Anyway. Okay, I want to say one thing, right? Okay, the color commentating and all the talk sucks. I don't like it, okay? It's my opinion. I don't like it. I don't like how they brought back a feature from 2003 or whatever. Whatever was the first, um, uh, the first... PlayStation 2 Madden game where they had the coordinator talking in your helmet before the play starts or while you were picking a play or whatever. I hate the fact that they brought that back. I don't like that. That's whack. I just don't like it. It don't sound good. It, it, it may be, I guess, authentic, but I just don't like it. Okay? That's, I guess that's my opinion. What's not my opinion is Gus Johnson, right? I think that's his name, the color commentator. Um, first off, um, they got so many expressions with this guy, right, and they just put them all together, it sounds retarded. Okay, no offense to that guy because he's probably awesome what he does, right? But then they have the nerve to keep the audio from Phil Collinsworth and throw that in the middle. Like, what? I, I, okay, whatever to that. Okay, but like I said, with the different expressions they got, because, you know, the guy's an energetic guy, you know, um, I think I have another video, or I'm going to put up another video about the color commentating. You know, he'll be like, uh, Braylon Edwards at the one. You know, like, it just, you know, at the one. Braylon Edwards, you know, he's too much for this lackluster game. To me, it's a lackluster game because it's not enough energy. If the game was more high impact, more high octane, faster, bigger hits, you know, I think Gus Johnson would have been awesome for Backbreaker, you know, because he's so energetic. It just seems like they're trying to boost up the game through his voice instead of actually doing it through his through the game. But anyway, um, that's my little rant. You know, we're going to go through this little play right here, which the hugging actually was suitable for this type of play because the momentum stopped, you know. So, wow, okay, he got blocked, and then he decides to jump out of the play. He's like, hey, I'm not good enough. Anyway, so as you see, you know, I get cornered here, right? So I guess I shimmy one guy off, which was the same crappy animation that you saw from last year. You know, I didn't do anything to do, to you know, whatever. And then, you know, I get kind of get stuck on my own guy, and I get hugged, and Another pro tag moment, more hugging, more group session hugging, and I fall down. I mean, I guess it's somewhat suitable, but it's still gay. It's still not football. You know, I would think the guy who jumped out of the play, 26, would want to redeem himself and hit the shit out of 23, you know, for just juking him so bad. Like, there's so many things that's got awful about this game that's just not right still about this game, you know. That it, how can you defend it? How can you defend this mediocrity of football? How can you defend this? How can you defend that? He gets blocked off, right, and then he moves backwards. How can you defend that in any kind of simulated game? And you want to throw around the word logic or anybody who uses that phrase, you know. How can you logically say this is simulated football? when there's no real physics in the game. Get it? I'm out.